In this video, I'm going to create a new activity and call it ESL. Let's say this is from the uh, reference manual, but let's say that I have an ESL instructor, teacher, that gives students extra credit for attendance in the lab. So what I'm going to do is create a new uh, activity, call it ESL. After that, I'm going to create an instructor, uh, the professor that I want to ultimately send the attendance report to. Then I'll go back to my activities and I'll assign that instructor to my ESL activity. I'm going to then enable instructor selection. Uh, also, I've got tutor selection turned on, so I'm going to uh, add a tutor as an ESL tutor in my lab. Okay, and then I'll sign a student in and we'll look at an instructor report to see what that would look like. So the first thing, start to finish here, I'm going to go to my categories and activities and I can just pick a category, course tutoring for example. I'll click Add, and I'm going to create this activity called ESL. Okay, now I don't have my professor in the system yet that is uh, the professor for ESL, so I'm going to go now back to my Users Instructors screen and add that person. Now, if I want to automatically send reports to my instructors, there's something called a scheduled instructor report, but I do need an email address in order to complete that. So that would be the college email for this particular professor or instructor. I click Save. So now Vanessa is out there waiting. I've got my activity called ESL, so I'm going to go find that. And I can just type ESL here. Let's go see where that is. Now I'm going to click Edit. And then in the instructors, I'm going to pick Select, and I'm going to pick Vanessa here. Now I could quickly just go to last name Gonzalez, and there she is. So now I'm saying Vanessa Gonzalez is my professor that teaches this ESL class. Now I could have multiple instructors if I wanted to. There could be more than one. But you need to be careful with that because it's up to the student to select their instructor or professor at sign-in. So to avoid any kind of uh, erroneous data entry, if you have one instructor per activity, then they'll only be the one instructor to select. Now further, to go a little more detail here, if I picked Vanessa as my default instructor, I don't even really need to enable instructor selection at sign-in because it automatically knows that there's only one instructor and it's Vanessa, so it will be associated with that instructor. But now I've got Vanessa as the instructor for this ESL class. If I've got students picking a tutor at sign-in, well, I need to cover that class. So I'm going to pick Cameron here, and I'm going to assign ESL to her. So I'll just click on the activity, find ESL, double-click to move it down. Okay, and I've given Cameron a schedule too. I, you know, you could be where you don't have them, uh, you don't care if you use tutor schedules or not, but in this case I do, so I'll turn that on. So now when a student comes in between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m., Cameron Diaz will be available for ESL. Okay, now let's look at how our sign-ins are happening. So I'll go to sign-in, setup, setup, and then activity screen options and see it says show instructors box. Now I mentioned before if you only have the one instructor and it's a default instructor you do not necessarily have to do that. Um, it doesn't hurt to show it so I'm going to go ahead and show it. It'll only be the one option in the list in this case and it'll automatically be highlighted. Okay so back to the sign in screen. Now I've got my intake system on. I go ahead and turn that off real quick. And find is a very helpful tool by the way. And it looks like I have activity waiting list. I'll turn that off too. Okay, back to sign in screen. Enter a student ID. And then I'll pick course tutoring. And there's my ESL. And as you can see, Vanessa Gonzalez is now the instructor for that ESL class. I sign in. And there's Cameron Diaz, my tutor. And now Nick is signed in for ESL with Cameron Diaz with Vanessa Gonzalez as the ESL instructor. 
Now another student could come in and do the same thing, and we'll pick that uh, course tutoring ESL again. And Cameron, by the way, if I picked unknown, then it would ask me on the way out who I met with. Fernando's in now. And let's say Nick has finished his, so he'll sign out. And it looks like I'm getting a survey. So I'll fill that out. And let's say Fernando's done. And Fernando's getting the survey. Okay, so let's now go back and look at the report that we would send to that instructor, either manually or automatically to all the instructor's uh, attendance to see what that looks like. So that's under Users Reports, and the report that we send out is called Instructor Sessions. Now that's, I've got this semester selected, but we'll just do this week so we narrow our data a little bit. And now I'll click Show Report. So now we can see the instructor, Vanessa Gonzalez, has had uh, two people come in from her class. Uh, Nick Armstrong and Fernando, they both met with Cameron Diaz. Now, I signed them out almost immediately, so they only have a minute um, or less. But this is the report that would automatically be sent to Vanessa based on her email that's entered in the instructor screen. Now, later on, I've got videos on how that automatic uh, reporting and all of the behind-the-scenes automatic processes work in AccuSQL.